Hello, welcome back. This is part two. Sorry we lost audio on the part one of this video, but, um, and I really don't know where I left off, but uh, let me pick up on this. So one of the reasons why I started filming what I'm doing was because I have a cousin that lives several states away and uh, she is so creative, unbelievable talent. And her and I, we can spend hours on the phone uh, we actually talk sometimes until our hands go numb or our phones go dead. So I thought what a terrific way to share with her with what I'm doing. And I don't know if my other cousins would be interested in watching what I do or not, uh, but they're welcome to watch. I'd appreciate it. And um, so what you're seeing me do now is just kind of re-moisten the clay. I'm really struggling to get this ear opened up over here uh, where... It, it looks like I'm through, but I'm not. But uh, I don't actually, I'll have to see if I have an instrument that I can do that with. And what I may end up doing is taking uh, just one of the hand drills and very slowly going through and drilling that hole through. Although it acts like it wants to be through, but um, it's not. And this right here is very fragile. Uh, this part right here that I'm doing, and it will break. So I rehydrate the clay just to make it uh, so it's not dusty because I just cleaned my workshop after months and months of, a, uh, of us working to get it finished. There's just so much dust in here. I share our, my workshop uh, with my husband. He's on the other side of the building. We're separated by like an entry foyer and one small room, although the furnace is on his side. So I'm going to forever get dust in here, but this is the way I look at it. I will fight the dust I, in order to have my um, workshop. And uh, for that, I will, you may see dust in here, but I'm not going to, this is all dusty here. And what I will do is try to keep the dust down on my clay for several reasons. One, I don't want to breathe it. And I just try not to get stir up a lot of dust in here. Now I do have another uh, little outbuilding that I use where I have my wheel and all my heavy duty clay uh, and all the tools and you know, my slab roller and everything. So we'll, we will end up out there eventually, but for now we're going to work on this fellow. So, um, I don't know if, uh, if any of you have an interest, but for some reason, I, I can look at clay and I see a face. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start a new uh, project. Uh, let's start uh, with, I've got a tiny, tiny bowl here. It's still very damp, which is nice. Um, let's see what we got here. I, I did this a few days ago, put it in a um, bag because a lot of times I can go out to my pottery shed and I can work for hours and not um, be able to create anything successful. And then I can go out there and uh, it's just like magic. It just happens. So this is a very small uh, pot. And this is just a lid off, as you can see, a cottage cheese container. This is pr pretty damp. But what I do notice is that I got some depth in here. I mean, it's, it's pretty thick. So um, let's just roll it around until I can see. And I know this sounds weird, but sometimes you, you just go with the shape of the bowl or the pot. And uh, what I see here now is right about here. I'm going to try to um, let's just do a little bit of a drawing here. Um, if you see me shaking, just know that I'm not nervous. It is uh, part of my character. Plus, I am an asthmatic, and I do some pretty serious uh, inhal uh, inhalers to help control my asthma. Boy, do I wish I didn't have to do it, and it's been a lifetime struggle. I've tried alternatives, um, and I know people are going to say, well, you know, being in pottery is not the healthiest thing to do, but honestly, everything I do is going to affect my allergies and, and how I breathe. So what I did is I just drew a nose. Um, and then I think I could kind of see like a little bit of a um, brow here. And... Um, you're gonna 
between the nose, a little filtrum. And I found that if I don't do the filtrum right away, which is that little indent between your nose and your upper lip, uh, I, my lips, um, the, the center gets way off. It'll get off every time. So um, I'm just going to go in here and then I'm going to use the flat part of my instrument here. Piece, it's just a wood stick and I'm going to push up. I also kind of dabble in paint and um, one thing I'm finding is that watercolor seems to be far better um, medium for me to use since I have the shaky hands than others because watercolor is kind of, you you wet it and it flows, it does its thing. So um, every now and then I'm gonna look out the window here, you don't see me looking out, but I'm watching my husband. We had, we had a serious windstorm and uh, Mile, uh, probably about 15 miles from here, there was tornado touchdown and it blew the uh, top cap off our garage. That's out a little bit there down in our yard. And he's on top of that um, doing the repairs. And I just happened to look down there and see him. So I'm going to try to stay focused. I want to continue with the video today. So you're going to see a little bit of a, let's see if you can see that. You can see a little bit of a face going on there. Okay. And, uh, I promise I will learn, and as as I do videos, I'll try to make make them clearer. I know that YouTube has this thing about any kind of background music, so on my tube I have a, a gardening show because it's just full of flowers, everything's blooming, and it makes me happy. So, okay, so now we got that. So now let's talk about um, let's do a chin. Right